adding nodes. Notice that whenever you add a node, it will always be added after the current selected node. So let's come here and add a serial node. We were selecting the first node originally. Once we added the new node, it was added right after the first node. Now let's add a new node. Now, if I'm selecting the second node and I add a new node, it will actually come as a new node in between node two and three nodes and add a serial node. Notice what happened here. The, the signal will come out of node two, go to node four and come back to node three before it's, uh, before it goes to the output. So when you add a node, the most important thing is to know where you are now in the in, in the current node structure because it will be added whatever you're choosing will actually be added right after the current selected node except for when you go to nodes there is an add serial before current which means that it will add a new serial node before the current selected node so if i come to node 2 and uh, go to nodes add a serial before node now it added a node before node 2. But this doesn't change the flow of how the, the, the picture is moving. So basically it will go from the original image to 1, then to 5, to 2, to 4, 3, and output. Now I'm going to go to nodes, add a serial node, and add a serial node. I'm going to go to node number 2, nodes, and add a parallel node. Now the parallel node was added as a parallel to the same node that we were on originally. Even in this case, the position of the parallel node was dependent on the current node that we were selecting. If I want to add a layer node, still the same structure. The, the layer node was added as a layer to the current node and it, they were both mixed in the layer mixer right after this node. So remember, before you add any node, you have to make sure that you are in the right place because the position of the added node will depend on the current selected node.